Howdy all, this is Shane, and I wanted to share with everybody something that I was able to try recently. These are the Chicken Pick Plectrums, or Picks, from Chicken Picks in the Netherlands. Now these are quite a lot thicker and they're made of a different material to the conventional Jim Dunlop pick, for example. So when you play these, it feels completely different and audibly to your ear, it's actually acoustically different to what you're used to. The hardest thing I'm gonna have to do is try to explain the feel of these picks in comparison to a conventional pick without just giving it to you and having a shot. While they're much thicker, they feel way softer to your touch and you don't get that clacky overtone of a conventional pick, which if you already play a thick pick and you go back to a thin pick, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like me, if you're already using a one mil Jim Dunlop or higher, and then you try these, they still feel completely different to play, but they also feel very easy to play. The main advantage of this chicken pick is that you don't physically have to hold it as hard as a regular pick. Sometimes with my one millimeter Jim Dunlops, I hold them that hard that they all eventually bend and then they're useless. They just have a bit of a U-shape on them towards the end of their life. Whereas these don't do that at all. You can hold them as hard as you want, but you don't have to, that's the key. So you get less hand fatigue, which is something that I didn't actually expect these to be so good. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I didn't think they were gonna feel a whole lot different. I played these for about two weeks to make sure that what I'm telling you is legitimately true and it absolutely is. So these are actually boutique picks. They feel fantastic to play. I'm gonna show you some of the different sizes that I've been given. And thanks again, Epo, for shipping these out. These are totally rocking. All right, here we go. This is the conventional Fender pick right here. This is something that I would never play. It's quite flimsy. And this is the 2.6 millimeter chicken pick. Back to the fender. Back to the chicken pig. So there's actually quite a bit of difference in the room. What I'm listening to right now is this sounds way more pronounced in every way. I'm actually holding this a whole lot softer then I'm holding that. That's one of the main advantages is the amount of pressure you need to apply on this hand. And you're probably saying, why don't you hold the pick the right way? Well, this is the way I've been using it for years and I actually play with the side of the picks. And this is with the point of the pick. Back to the crappy Fender one. That's where you feel it and hear it the most is on those big notes. So you might be wondering, does the thickness take away from being able to feel the strings? It doesn't at all. You can still feel everything. It's just not quite as hard to do the things that you're used to doing. That's a really big positive. So this is the 3.5 now. It's slightly smaller, but way, way thicker. Now I'm not used to playing picks this thick, but the chicken pick still makes it easy. So here we go. <laughs> Sounds great. And this is the 2.2 mil. And over
over to my Jim Dunlop, which was my favourite. <laughs> And back to the If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know. You can check these out at chickenpicks.com. And Epo is a great guy. He responds to all his emails. And yeah, we had a bit of a chat about these. And I know he's been waiting a while for me to put up a video, but I really wanted to give these a shot for a couple of weeks just to make sure that I enjoyed them as much as I initially did as soon as I made the switch. I'm gonna be buying more of these. And as you may have already noticed, I've been using these a lot on all my demos. And if I didn't like them, I wouldn't be using them. It's just that simple. So Epo, thanks again, man. I really appreciate this. And the best thing for people to do is check them out online and see which one's right for them. Don't let the size put you off. They are physically bigger or fatter in your hand than the conventional picks for, for some people. Some people might already use thicker picks, but there's something on there for everyone. But trust me, if you're already using a one mil pick or something like that, go for the smallest one. Give that a shot and see how it feels. And I bet you in about 10 minutes after using them, you'll like them like I did. This is one of those things you need to try in person. And I say that because I've tried filming this a few different ways now. And in the end, I just went for a video much like this, short and to the point. When you're playing these and you've got your guitar turned down, you don't hear the clackiness of the conventional picks. And it's once you AB them that you realize, wow, my old pick sounds like plastic. This sounds like music. It's definitely one of those things that you have to experience. So yeah, let me know what you think of these. If you're already playing chicken picks, comment below because um, I think they're fantastic. And Epo, you're onto a real winner here, mate. I really appreciate you taking the time to post these out. So expect an order from me pretty soon. I think he's got worldwide free shipping as well. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize, Epo. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that on his website. Yeah, chickenpicks.com, check him out. If you'd like to contact me, you can reach me at facebook.com slash in the blues. Thanks for watching and speak to you all soon. See ya.